We were all born with the potential of greatness, and we found a small program that gave us the opportunity to be great. They gave us a chance to show everyone in our humble hoods that art is a force like wind that shows no borders. A chance to show that even though we are born into the struggle, we are not bound by it, but faced with the challenge to provoke change, because brush strokes are louder than gunfire. The teachers here have taught us ordinary things in an extraordinary way. They have given us the tools to keep freedom and hope alive because in a time of darkness, even one small flame of hope casts a great light. A small room where people of many differences have reached a common ground with the belief that reviving the struggle is not something we can take lying down, but an obstacle that can be overcome to make life a bit more bearable for everyone in need of a hand.
for me. It really didn't even feel like work because I had just so much fun painting every day, um, learning new stuff, you know, getting to know more people from you know other schools, other areas of Chicago. Um, made a lot of friends, and um, I get to say that I actually brought something home from this program other than a paycheck. <laughs> Um, there's no such thing as a perfectionist because you, painting is just something that you can play around with and you can experiment and mix colors, you know, stuff like that. Ricardo and Tello, they were patient enough to show me how to do those things. And, you know, once I see the almost finished product, you know, I'm working on the train. And, you know, once I see everything that I've done, me and my group, you know, like it really, you know, that. It's, to me, it's like a big reflection of what I've learned, and you know, um, throughout the weeks, you know, putting more layers on the train, perfecting the lines, or whatever, and windows, and um, yeah, I'm really happy that I got in this place.